WNCG is your local election headquarters. And tonight we here at WNCG along with Emerson College are releasing new poll numbers showing how tight races are right here in North Carolina. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us here for your news at six o'clock. I'm Courtney Courtright. Ken Watlington is off. Let's start with the governor's race right here in North Carolina. The poll is finding current Republican Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson has the slightest lead over Democrat and current Attorney General Josh Stein. Robinson with 42% of the vote, Stein with 41% of the vote. Tight race so far. Let's bring in none of your sides, Aaron Jenkins. Now, Aaron, you have been looking at these numbers yeah. all day. What are you learning from them? Well, the one thing is that this is one of going to be one of the tightest governor's race in the nation this year. It was pretty much expected that Democrat Josh Stein and Republican Mark Robinson would be the two governor candidates as they're both already political figures here in North Carolina. Now let's take a deeper look at those numbers. Stein and Robinson are at just a one point difference. 5% of people say they would vote for someone else and a large number 12% saying they are still undecided. I talked with Dr. Brad Lockerbie, a political science professor at East Carolina University today. He says this close race and the undecided population is expected. If I had to guess what's going on there is that you've got the base who see the letter D and the letter R after a name. I think we don't know as much about the two candidates running for governor as we know about President Biden and former President Trump. Robinson appeals more to the um, Trump wing of the Republican Party, um, whereas Stein seems to be more generic Democrat. Trump's leading in this state, so that might not be a bad position for Mark Robinson to be in. Um, if you're aligned with a candidate who's ahead by roughly five percentage points. Lockerbie says the North Carolina governor seat has flipped back and forth over the years, so both candidates will have to appeal to their party's voters. Lockerbie also says we could start to see ads ramping up for this race in the near future, trying to sway voters one way or the other. Now, this poll is also finding how voters feel about current Democratic governor where Cooper is doing 41% say they approve of the job he's doing as governor that's compared to 38% to disapprove 20% say they are neutral or have no opinion in the studio Aaron Jenkins nine on your side Aaron thank you let's turn now to the race for the White House the WNCT Emerson College poll finds former President Donald Trump holds a five point lead over President Joe Biden you can see those numbers they are there right on your screen Trump with 47 percent Biden with 42 percent 10 percent of voters we ask say they are undecided but most of them say they're leaning towards voting for President Biden we already know a lot of money will be spent in North Carolina to help reelect Joe Biden. We can expect the same for Donald Trump as he continues to be ahead in the polls. However, if third party candidates manage to get on this ballot like Robert F. Kennedy Jr., pollsters say that's not good for Biden. Whereas President, former President Trump doesn't lose as much ground there. He only loses a point compared to his initial number. So uh, to the extent that additional folks are on the ballot, that's going to hurt President Biden in the end. Experts also say most voters are locked in with who they want to vote for, even with Trump on trial in New York. 